Welcome to Motor Spins. Hello there, gearheads. I'm your girl, Jen Barlow. I want to introduce you to my little friend, this Black Wonder, the 2012 328i. This is a year that is highly sought after. Over 400,000 of these bad boys out on the road. And this is something that you could put in your very own garage for like $10,000. To tell you more about it, I'm gonna bring in my friend, Morgan. What are we working with? two liter turbo engine with 240 horsepower. Lots of torque. I was obsessed about the motor. The transmission's pretty good. It's not too heavy. Good car. Yeah, it's a good car. So let's pop the hood. I feel like we need to showcase it, show it off a little bit. Just jumping off the page, you have what? 240 brake horsepower. Yeah, yeah. How much torque did you say comes stock in this? 280, somewhere around there. 280, okay, pound feet of torque. This is a super easy thing that anybody with a BMW can do is you modify the engine. Now there's two different ways of doing this. I've gone the simple way, which is just a simple little bypass. You can also do EQ tuning, and that changes and flashes the EQ. So you can have someone come and download that in, and that really gives them full control of the engine. Okay, yeah. so this is a two liter. This is not a 2.8 liter. If you wanted that extra boost, if you wanted yeah, if the you, six cylinder. Yeah, if you want more power, the 335 is great. You can tune that to 400 horsepower in the blink of an eye. And then if you want even more power, you can have an M3 where you get all the fancy stuff, which is super cool. So, also updated for the 2012 year, they gave it a little bit more of an aggressive front end, so a little bit of styling updates on the front. Okay, so obviously you got your, your understated kidney grill, synonymous with BMW. You've got that aggressive styling, almost like a front lip edge to it. So let's go around to the other side and talk about the fact that this is a base model, and you know that, just by looking, glancing at the wheels, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're uh, star spoke type 393 wheels. So 17 inch, just hard, all weather tires. Yeah, yeah. you can get like 40,000 and more out of a really hard tire. It's like, check, fuel efficiency, check, BMW ultimate driving machine, check, extra horsepower, love it. In terms of the back end of a BMW, I feel like if you're driving behind a BMW, you know what you're getting, right? Yeah, the, the tail lights are pretty iconic. And these are the LED? Yeah, these are LED lights. You've got your dual exhaust, love it. Also, trunk space, plenty of trunk space. I don't know what in terms of cubic feet, but definitely I could like sit here comfortably. All right, sorry, I took over your car. I'm in the driver's seat now. But you do have some extra options and features. What are the three main options that you opted for? Uh, I had a couple requirements, but this was the cheapest one with my requirements. And <laughs> that was having the heads-up display. It says the speed, and if you're using the navigation through the car, it shows turn-by-turn -turn directions. And what's super cool, what I like, is when you're setting cruise control, you can set the cruise control and see it in the heads-up display. Okay, so heads-up display, what else did you need in your car? So this one has the wider uh, infotainment system. So what's super cool about the wider um, infotainment system is it allows for two separate uh, views at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you can have the wide view of the map, so you see where you're, like how far you are from your target, and then you also can see the street view, so you know where to make a right turn or a left turn. You can program all these buttons to do different things, right? Yeah, so the classic BMW is you have these one through eight buttons, and they're touch sensitive. If you touch your finger on top of it, it tells you what it's programmed for. Okay, so you have the larger infotainment screen, and then what else was on your must-have list? Oh, you gotta have a sunroof. You gotta have it, because when it's hot, you kick the top up. And BMW put these little grills in to allow airflow through the top. It's yeah. super cool. Yeah, it's super nice. They also have that one-touch system, right? Yeah, one-touch close, one-touch open. And uh, a lot of these cars have it, but it has the aero brake and the sunroof, so it doesn't bump, 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 bump. Yeah. And if you really are giddy and you don't care about the sound, you can go back a little extra. They do have an option with this base model to have a little bit more performance steering wheel. It has no like thumb rests or anything. It's completely smooth all around. It's a little clunky on the bottom, but it's cool. In this model, the 2012, we added a drive setting. So we've got Sport and Eco Pro now. So the Eco Pro um, changes the throttle mapping. So instead of a small movement giving a lot of throttle, 
you make a bigger movement for the same input. So it's easier to go slower. Comfort's the usual, but if you're driving a little more performance, you want the sport. So you have the more accelerated throttle map. Also, it hardens up the, the steering wheel and creates more of an input, giving the feel of a performance car. When you're performance driving, I'll be in sport, and then I'll be in manual shifting mode, so you can just hold the gear and it's not shifting randomly. Yeah. The other thing I noticed too, okay, so in a lot of new cars, you have that automatic start stop that you either love or hate, but in 2012, I feel like people didn't love the start stop. I feel like it's gotten a smidge better, but what did you do to combat that? BMW has a secret agreement with their customers that they will code the car special to make it permanent. Whatever you set the start stop to, it stays no matter how long until you press it again. So, in other words, if I go to my local BMW dealership and I say, hey, friends, I want the start stuff off. Can you hook your sister up? They will do it. For sure. Cool. Well, thanks for showing me your ride. Do you mind if I take it up for a little test drive around the block? Uh, as long as you bring it back. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this sound for a second. This is not a diesel, but it's giving me some diesel vibes. Have you heard that before? Yeah, the two liter has a ticky low sound. It just idles and it's ticky low. It's really smooth. You don't feel it. What else do people say about this four cylinder? What do you say about it? It's got good low end torque and it pushes. It revs high enough, it's like 6,500 RPM or something. So low end torque, high end performance. Yeah, and the eight speed gives a great like option to what gear you want to be in. Yeah. If you want, you can put, you take the shift lever and push it over to the left. Now you're in sport uh, transmission. And okay, so no paddle shifters. So if you want to put it into your manual select or manual shift like experience, you have to do it on the 2012. On other subsequent models, you would have the paddle shifters here, but you act like a... If you look really hard on the internet, you can find some of these cars with a paddle. Okay. And let's say you're really passionate and you want a paddle, you can do it yourself for $800 or so. She's cutting through, having a little fun. Everybody hold on to your hats. I'm going to do a turn. <laughs> Don't throw up. I mean... Oh yeah, traction control. Yes. Kick it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! What's our fuel efficiency? 23 with? right now and I've been pushing it the last couple days. Okay, so 23. So what does it normally get? What's your what's your EPA? What's it, your normal fuel? That it you get? can do 26 and I've seen 28 from highway, but 25 is about average. All right. Well, thanks for letting me drive your car. Thanks for trusting me. You're welcome. Are you going to let me drive your car? Okay, we got to go. Our time is over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I brought it back in one piece. I feel like this is the ultimate driving machine to put in your garage. Ultimate daily driver, you yeah. agree? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, it's the best daily driver I can think of. Yeah, okay, so we want to hear your thoughts. Let us know down below in the comments what's your ultimate daily driver. Oh, yeah, What cool. other daily driver should we feature here on Motor Spins? And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell notifications on and tell all your friends who are car people like us to come back and check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, my friends, I'm Jen. And Bye, Morgan. I'm Morgan. <laughs>